அவர்களே அன்புடன் அன்பளிப்பு செய்யுமாறு மிகவும் அன்புடன் கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றோம் Well, uh, I'm really happy that Namal called me here, uh, you know, to be a part of this. Uh, because when I came in here for the IFA Awards, I had my own, uh, you know, doubts. I had my own uh, concerns because so many IDPs, you, you know, you hear so much about their condition in 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 the camps uh, that they are. Uh, but I was glad to see that you know, just a fifth of them remain to be rehabilitated, and out of 280, uh, you know. 284,000 or just about 50,000 remain the rest of them have already started the process of rehabilitation going back to their families joining back with their people um it is going to be difficult it is not easy because 30 years of war 30 years of scars conflicts these wounds are deep they'll take time to heal uh there's a lot of people viewing a lot of things back home with suspicion and i completely understand the suspicion of the people because they're not sure uh the only way the government can win the trust and favor is by doing things like this uh by like when i personally came in and i saw the massive reconstruction work with the rehabilitation programs to see the amount of undertakings that people are doing by the time people start experiencing it settling in there will be a goodwill that will start developing and i think that this beautiful country will finally get a much deserved peace Well, we're doing a project called Project Hope, where we're building a school for a thousand children. They're very, very marginalised Tamil children uh, from the war-torn uh, uh, regions of uh, Nandu Kerala, um, and uh, it's going to be a school that will, uh, you know, educate the children, give them a, a job opportunities in the future, prepare them for an independent, good life. Um, we've got some great, great uh, support, um, starting with UNICEF. who come on board and supporting us we've got some fabulous support from a lot of lovely sri lankan people i was very surprised to see that within minutes i had uh, corporates uh, from sri lanka come forward and say you know uh, somebody said that okay we'll build a playground somebody said we'll build uh, the um, we'll build uh, the preschool somebody said we'll build, we'll we'll donate the paint somebody said we'll do the roofs so i think this is what the world is about about coming together pooling your resources and coming forward so this isn't my school it is our school it is a school a project where anybody wants to be involved if anybody wants to lay one brick they are more than welcome because that will go into building the foundation of something special the foundation of a thousand children growing up in a world of peace and hope well it's a beautiful ceremony i'm supposed to go and sign uh, as a witness to somebody's wedding um It's always a pleasure to be a part of someone's marriage. I was just talking to the couple that uh, uh, that that I'm signing for, and uh, they were mentioning that you know finally they feel that they can move forward with their lives. They can you know get married, uh, look forward to a future, start a family, uh, be one again. You know, go back to their lands and, and look forward to something positive in the future. I think that is fantastic. It, it is going to be a process. It, times consuming time consuming process because both sides have to slowly and steadily build trust and faith uh, with each other and and i can see that a lot of work is going on towards it there's a lot of effort happening from both sides uh, for the trust and faith uh, you know building exercises um, so that that's going to be there so the doubters are going to doubt the people who have the suspicions are going to have the suspicions but the idea is to keep believing keep working keep moving forward keep bridging the gap so that the future generations of sri lanka don't suffer what the current generations have so um, what are your future plans and concerns with what you're doing over here well um i've got really great support from namal and uh, got really good support from all uh, the armed forces here and everybody here from the political people all the way to the local ngos um everybody's come forward and said that you know let's do this together so i think till yesterday a, a, a bunch of people that didn't trust each other that hated each other that fought with each other are today coming forward to do a project together building something together that itself is a really good first step i think uh, like i said this is the foundation stone for peace and hope